So this is the last video in this four part series on how you can extract the segment descriptions for a chart of accounts. And on the side, you've been learning a little bit about different reporting options inside of Microsoft Dynamics GP. Here I am in the on-prem version of Microsoft Dynamics GP 2018, and I'm gonna use the ISV or third party tool from E1 called Excel Report Builder. So right up here, I have on my list the Smart List Builder, and I'm gonna choose Excel Report Builder, and I'll go ahead and choose the Excel Builder option. Now, you're probably aware that there are some Excel refreshable reports inside of GP. And so what this does is it actually adds this to that list of Excel refreshable reports. So the first thing we wanna do is give it a report ID. So we'll call this one, um, how about account seg? And we'll give it a description, GL account segment list. And the report type is going to be a list as opposed to a pivot table. So you could see you could actually create a pivot table directly from here as well. The first thing we'll do is select which table we want. And rather than doing a data connection that's already there, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to a Microsoft table. And I'm gonna get the table out of the main Microsoft GP dictionary. And the series will be financial. And the table ID, I'm going to grab the segment master description. So let me see if I can get there. There we go. And I'll click on save. Now, similar to what we've seen before, here are the five fields that are in this particular table. And I'm only interested in the segment number, the segment ID, and the description of that segment. That's all I'm interested in. Actually, let me come up here and create a view name based off of that. And we'll actually just call that GL account description, uh, account segment description. So we've got that view created. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just click on publish. And when I publish, it's going to ask me, do I wanna publish this to the report library, the Excel refreshable reports, or maybe I have my reports published to SharePoint or deployed to SharePoint. I'm gonna leave it the library leave it in the product and the series financial, and I'll leave the names the same. And I'll go ahead and click on publish. And now if I go back in, go to financial, my Excel reports, this is going to pull up a list of all of the deployed Excel reports in my financial series. And if I were to scroll down, here we go in this company to 18, I see the GL account segment. And if I were to click right there, it's gonna open up Excel course on another monitor. So let me pull that over. I'll enable the content and now we can see all of those fields. I'm going to also come in and here is where my Excel refreshable reports are deployed. So if I go to reports in the company two in the financial series, I'm going to see right here my account, oh not that one, GL account segment description right there. And again, if I double click it, it's gonna take me to the same run. So I hope you got some ideas on other things you can build besides looking at your GL account segments. And if not, at least you now know four different ways to do that. Hope it helps.